So welcome back everyone. Mike, Melissa, and Ruger. His worst trait is he rolls in dead stuff. Ruger's only flaw, huh Ruger? Like if he finds horse poop or something, yeah. He likes rolling in stuff. Mm. Okay. And he doesn't like a bath. I'm going to around his chest. And his neck here, his okay. ear. Want to let him shake once? No, not yet. Get right there. These are the spots that he rolled in, and whatever he rolled in is on him. Down here. And then I'll go ahead and finish fastening him up. All right, I'm headed over to. Uh, I'll let him shake. Go ahead. I'm headed over to Cliffs to do some a uh, little bit of work over there. All right. I'm going to use the uh, box blade first, and probably come over for the rake. Okay. It's a nice sunny day. I can take. It. Beautiful day. Yeah. Oh, before I uh, head over to neighbor Cliffs, I want to show you this. Two A limestone right here. If you remember the last load I got, there were hardly any fines in it at all. And uh, I called and kind of questioned it and and said, you know, I need to make sure it's 2A limestone with the fines. I like to top dress everything with this. Uh, so this will definitely finish up everything I need around the building. I need to finish on the other side over there where I took that tree out a little bit down the road. And what I have left, I'll just kind of dress everything off with it. But yeah, there's definitely fines in this stuff. This will pack really, really well. It should work out great. Oh, and also I think I'm going to be getting some of the best stone you can get. And that is some free stone. Uh, my buddy Adam, that's the guy I get the uh, IBC totes from. He's doing a job not far from here. And he's going to be digging out an old parking lot. It's all limestone and he needs to haul it somewhere so we'll haul that down below by the sawmill and where we're going to split wood it'll be perfect for that i'm sure it'll be a mix of two inch three inch who knows whatever but uh, it'll work out good so probably later on today or tomorrow he'll be bringing me a load a load or two of that and we'll use it down below but anyway right now we better head over to cliffs and uh get that finished up over there So slight change of plans. Adam, he just texted me. He's actually on his way here right now. I'm not sure if he's bringing uh, stone or some wood debris. He has some old pallets and stuff to get rid of as well. I told him, bring them out. We'll dump them right in the burn pit. So he may be bringing me some rock, may be bringing me some junk. But once he gets here, gets dumped, then we'll head over to neighbor cliffs. A little bit. That's good. I don't want you going in the hole, Adam. That's true. So yeah, this is Adam Fisher. This is who I get the uh, IBC totes from. It's a nice truck, real nice single axle. So I was just saying, you're the guy I get the IBC totes off of, but uh, you're into everything now. A little bit, a little bit. You're working on a parking lot project today and... At Mike Morgan's delivering some, some burnable wood. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we're putting in um, lighted posts in the parking lot and then we're gonna resurface it. Nice. Yep. He's going to bring some uh, used stone tomorrow. That's what I was saying earlier. That's the best kind of stone is free used stone. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. What can you haul in this truck legally? 10 ton. 10 ton. 10 ton. I'm legal for 10 ton. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice truck and it turns on a dime too. That's what's... It does. Yep. This one, uh, when I was looking, I, was, I wasn't really looking. And this showed up on Facebook and I saw it and it was sitting there for a couple of days and I called about it, talked to the guy that owned it. And uh, I found out it was air ride suspension. And these little short trucks normally ride rough, right? 
and uh once he said it was air ride i had an itch for it and went and looked at it and yeah it was everything i wanted had air conditioning that was a requirement a lot of them don't have air conditioning and uh so i brought it home and it's been good it's been good yeah adam's basically uh western pennsylvania's version of andrew camerata <laughs> You got a bunch of equipment and just do a little bit of everything. He's a heck of a guy to look up to, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he's awesome. Yep. So. Well, good deal. If I'm not around, you know where to dump. But I'm going over to neighbors work on some stuff now, and I'll be I'll be in and out. Neighbor cliffs. Yeah, neighbor cliffs. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Cool. All right, man. Thanks. Yep. yep. Thank you. Remember, I told you guys in that video the other day how there's a lot of people that don't want to work. Well, he's not one of those guys right there. Adam's a hustler. Good guy. worked out good very very minimal raking required here uh, Cliff had some raised garden beds in here and it was kind of a step right there so I kind of got that all cleaned up real quick just got a few pieces of uh, rock and some wood here a little quick raking and we'll be ready for seed that's the operator Cliff all right, Cliff's going to rake that out, put some seed on it, and uh, once he gets that uh, tubey limestone here, he'll give me a call. We'll come back and uh, finish up that French drain from the other day. All right, I, uh, I got back from neighbor Cliff's, Melissa, uh, where he had those raised planters, yeah. raised garden beds. He took them out, yeah. fixed all that up. He's raking it, seeding it now. Has a little bit of stone coming to finish up that drain. Uh, uh, so before that happens, I may spread, finish up that side of the building. Okay. But Ty, he's got a shiner, huh, Ty? Got a bit of a black eye. He fell the other day down at their place and uh, hit his head on a table. But uh, I just want to talk about it. Pretty tough nut, huh? <laughs> what do you think, Ty? Wanna give me a fist bump? Boom. I believe he understands that this is doing video and that he will be on the TV at his house. Yeah, I do too. I am kept pulling his hat down. All right. Just tell him, you should see the other guy. You should see the other guy, huh? Whoo. All right, I got back from uh, neighbor Cliff's a while ago. I was working inside some and I just called him. He has not gotten his stone yet. Uh, so while we're waiting for that, I'm going to finish this up right here. Uh, if you remember, this is where I took that tree out the other day. I widened all this out, uh, but I need a little bit more stone here and down this road. So we'll take care of that right now. And I think this would be a great spot for like a, uh, a nice firewood rack or something right here. Off the road, out of the way, 
I think, yeah, I think that's something we'll do there. stuff here is pretty nice this has the uh, this has all the dust in it like we like it'll pack in real good
All right, that's shaping up pretty nice. I'll need a couple more buckets of stone over there. Then I need to move the uh, conveyor, kind of clean up all this mess here. I need three or four buckets in here, and it'll be uh, good to go. Right now, Melissa and I have to run out for a little bit, so hopefully I'll finish this later this evening. Oh, and I wanted to mention, uh, a lot of people always ask why I use that land plane, you know, moving backwards. I only do that when I'm spreading new stone, especially with this geotextile down, you know, as long as you have stone behind the land plane, it does a fantastic job. I mean, it's smooth, you know what I mean? And you can kind of push it out right over top of that geotextile, just hold up off of it a little bit and you don't have to worry about hitting it. You know, if I'm grading an existing driveway, I definitely use it, you know, pulling it forward 90% of the time. If you get a big pile of stone, I'll still push it backwards at times, but uh, that's a great attachment right there. Not only for existing driveways, but building new ones as well. I like, I don't know, I just like using it backwards. Works good for me.